Hello, Demon Nom is back. In this video, we're going to help this noob with a combat fight style, unlock the newest Sanguine Art, and reach max level. But before we start, make sure you support by using Star Code Demon Nom when purchasing your Robux. Just a disclaimer, guys, every time you use my Star Code, I get paid. Where the actor slam on oh, their yes. forward. That's your slam. That's the dump. Everyone knows that you can only unlock the Sanguine Art at the third C, so I decided to start here. A combat user. Already in the third C, all set and ready to collect all the requirements needed in order to unlock this fight style. Also, this video will be really long if we start with level 1, okay? So first up, requirements, we need 2 Dark Fragments and you can get that by defeating Dark Beard, the boss in the second C. So here we are with the combat, fight style, fighting, Dark Beard, okay? So first up, we are going to collect every requirement needed in order to unlock the Sanguine Art. Okay guys, so as you can see, we are really having a hard time defeating him, but it is possible to defeat Darkbeard. So, after defeating him, I decided to get a new fight style. Is it the Sanguine Art Gamer? No, not yet. Because again, we are lacking requirements. Let's defeat this one first, and after that, we will change our fight style. Hmm, guys, can you guess what fight style that is? There you go guys, we got the Dark Fragment. One more. Oh, and also, if you're just wondering what my stats are, there you go. Maybe 2,450 defense, 2,148. Okay, guys. So, for the new fight style, we will now head to the hot and cold. <clears throat> and at first, I decided to get the death step. But, guys, I will be using fragments. And I am kind of lazy to grind more fragments. So, there you go. We're, we're gonna settle with the dark step. I know this is not that good. But you only need money to unlock this one, right? Imernum is dark step good. <laughs> I don't know guys. No, no, no. For me, it's not good. Anyways, I head to the ice castle to get some mastery. But guys, really, I'm considering getting the death step at this point while I'm recording the video. Anyways, here are the skills. There you go. There's a flying kick. Not bad, guys, when they rework this fight style. Anyways, grinding is easy since, again, this is a fight style. That's a break dance. Again, I'm going to show it to you. The breakdance, there you go, and we have the barrage. Okay, so barrage really looks better compared to before they even reworked this fight style. Anyways, guys, there you go, that's the barrage. I also tried defeating the Ice Admiral without doing quests, so that I won't be leveling up that much. Anyways, guys, again, why are you defeating this mobs gamer now, guys? Uh, while waiting for the what do you call this, the Fist of Darkness to spawn on chests, I'm also trying to get the library key. But again, in the end, I decided not to get this one because again, I will be spending, there you go, there's library key, spending fragments. And I want to save that one for getting, uh, for uh, unlocking the Sanguine Art. Because again, you need 5,000, right? There you go. Also, you need 400 mastery, right? For the death step, there you go, okay. Anyways, here is our second dark beard. Now we are using the dark step. So guys, I know you're, you're thinking, Gamer Gnome, why didn't you use other fight styles yeah I, I suggest you can use electric or maybe the fishman not the dark step but again guys I told you at first I wanted to get the dead step I really wanted that one so that I can use it on fighting the Leviathan right or Leviathan yes we are going to get the Leviathan in this video too anyways that's it our second dark fragment what is next on the list is the Leviathan okay so guys you need to do six expedition with other players. You cannot do this solo. A minimum of five players. There you go, guys. Imagine level 1537 doing six expeditions. Also, you need to head to the level six area. There you go. That's one, two, three. That is the only area where you can find the ice dimension. Guys, I'm going to shout out everyone who helped me on this journey later. So better watch out for that. Anyways, the moment that I fought the Leviathan, guys, I told myself, if only I have the death step. And also, guys, it's really hard, I'm telling you. With our level, anyways, let's check the Leviathan. Oh, guys, <laughs> shout out to the developers. Every time I see this uh, boss, I'm really amazed by how good the developers are in doing this vi uh, update. There you go, guys. What I did is just try. I just tried to survive. It's really hard using only death step in a leviathan uh what do you call this raid so there you go guys after that actually they're having a hard time looking for the ship so i i, I found the ship 
There you go. That's it. And I was the one who drove the ship towards the heart, the cold heart of the Leviathan. Where is it? Anyway, guys, for those who don't know, after this, you also need to return back to the Tiki outpost. So it's not yet safe. So make sure that the owner of the boat don't get disconnected. Anyways, heading back, I was the driver. The account, there you go. And here it is, Tiki Outpost. Now guys, we cannot yet unlock the Sangbin Art because there are other remaining uh, requirements, right? So we got the Leviathan Heart and the Dark Fragments. Next is, let's check, okay, Demonic Wisps. So where do you get Demonic Wisps? Guys, just head to the Haunted Castle. Here it is for the stats. Anyways, you need to defeat a certain mob here. The demonic soul located here on the entrance inside inside this mansion and there you go demonic soul okay so we're just gonna fast forward it i'm gonna show you the proof is it hard to defeat gamer Nom? no guys as long as it's 1v1 there you go just use m1 you can get bones as well as the demonic wisp wait we're just gonna get one okay and fast forward things Okay, and I think we're gonna get this one here. Oh, check the damage, guys. <laughs> there you go, guys, Demonic Wisp. So again, we need 20 of that. So it took me, I think, two hours to get 20. It's, it's not easy, guys. No, I don't know why. Okay, there you go. Next up, the Vampire Fang. So guys, I got uh, lots of Vampire Fangs here. I'm just gonna show you where to get it. Go back to the second C, and guys, you know the graveyard area? There you go. There's a cave here, right? And here you will find the vampire. So let's check it out. Okay, here it is. There you go. So again, guys, we need 20 of this, right? 20. Again, let's fast forward to getting one. There you go, and that's it. Again, we have lots of vampire fangs. I'm just showing this one to you. Okay, so once you got all the requirements, there you go, we can now head back to Tiki Outpost and finally guys, there you go, <laughs> let us unlock the Sanguine Art. Again, we were able to unlock this fight style at level 1541. Is it hard? Yes guys, it's really hard. And there you go, you also need 5 million bellies and 5,000 fragments. Guys, good thing you don't have any requirements. Other requirements like uh, 400 mastery on God, God, uh, what do you call this? God human, right? Or even superhuman or unlocking any other fight style. That's a good thing. That's why we made this possible. So now, guys, let's head to the port town and start grinding this fight style. So, Gamer Nom, is it, re is it hard to grind this fight style? No, guys, it's really easy. It's like almost you're, you, you're, you are equipped with a small Buddha fruit. Why? Because you will knock back your enemies. See that, guys? Very easy. Again, at level 1,541. The damage of this one is uh, it will kind of knock back your enemy. Also, you won't be moving from your place, which is really good, guys. I'm telling you. See that? Imagine this is just M1. How about when we unlock all the skills? Guys, the first skill, the Z skill, the Blood Bane Dream. This is my favorite skill out of all the skills. Why? Because this skill has a life steal. I'm gonna show it to you guys. We're gonna unlock this one at Master 125, which is really easy. There you go, guys. Blood Bane Drain. Okay. This is how the skill looks like. There you go. Where is the life steal gamer now? Don't worry, I'm gonna show it to you. First, let's get damaged. There you go. See, see our HP, right? After using your Z skill. Okay, check the HP. See that? Okay. So guys, again, we're gonna keep grinding here until 1,675. We're gonna unlock the Scarlet Clear X skill. This one is good for, uh, this is a long range attack. Okay, multi-target, not like the first skill. Guys, if they made the first skill multi-target, that's really OP. <laughs> that's cheating in a way. Anyways, again, target tier is 1,675. We skip two mobs here, the boss and the pistol billionaires. For the stats, max melee. Next is max defense. Okay, I won't be putting points on any other stat. Okay, next up Hydra Island. Target here, guys, is the Pirate uh, Island Empress. Sorry, Island Empress. 
There you go, guys. I'm just gonna defeat this once, maybe. Wait, I'm gonna show it to you. Very easy. Just M1, okay? But I'm gonna show you some tips, like for example, doing this one wall strap to avoid just dodging your enemy. I mean, if you're kind of lazy. There you go. See that, guys? There's a wall. You might get damaged, but our HP is really high. Also, you have the Z skill, the Bloodbane, a uh, drain to life steal, right? Anyways, that's it. As you can see, check the damage. Just M1. There you go. 20k damage. 25k. I think we will reach 29k. Uh, that's a 25 only, sorry. <laughs> okay, there you go. So guys, you're gonna do server hop here, okay? Server hop until you reach level 1750. That is the sea skill, devourer of the worlds. Guys, if you hit your enemy, uh, you will damage it, stun it, and additional damage with the orbs, right? But if ever you miss, okay, you can use that skill to lure lots of enemies, okay? Because of the sea skill, if you miss, instead of damaging single target, you will damage uh, enemies around it, around the orb, okay? It will summon, I think, four uh, evil entities, something like that. Anyways, there you go, very easy. Okay, again, target here is level 1725. Okay, there you go. Okay, so after this, we will be heading to the Great Tree. Yes, Great Tree, guys. <laughs> you will, you won't see this often when I'm grinding because this one's really good. We will grind at the Marine Rear Admirals, guys. We don't need any fruit here. Also, again, the M1 of this of fight is really good. There you go, guys. See that? It can't even damage you. So, guys, you can defeat uh, mobs one at a time. Okay, one at a time. There you go. That's one, two. That's the second. Oh, you think I missed that one? See that, guys? It's really cool. That is the devourer of the worlds. There you go. So, guys, technique here, you're going to defeat one mob at a time and grind here. So, Gamer Nom, uh, are you just going to defeat this single mob? No. There's the Kilo Admiral here. Okay, guys, if you get the item delay, that's good. Why it, it doubles the... HP regeneration which is really good uh, with our Z skill right it will I think multiply our life still with the Z skill but I really don't think that you need that one <laughs> anyways as you can see guys yeah the boss might damage you but again you have your Z skill always uh, try not to use your Z skill use it when you have low HP or if you think you can really defeat it uh, without uh, even thinking or cycling your skills then go for it also, guys, I'm just showing you that I'm using the skills, but if you're gonna ask me, just use M1, <laughs> and that's it, yeah. Because I, get, I think there's a higher chance that the enemy will use her skill if you use your skill too. I'm not sure of that, okay? So next up, guys, Floating Turtle. Now, max melee and defense at level 1825. Again, this is rare. We're gonna defeat the Forest Pirates. See that, guys? This is, this is new, right? We don't usually do this one. Because again, we have M1, not like uh, when we're grinding fruits. There you go. Easy, right? Easy. Just M1. Okay, you can use auto clicker, guys. Yes, you can use it. You won't get banned. Just auto clicker, okay? There you go. So guys, there is a boss here. Actually, we have three bosses here in this island. But we're not gonna fight uh, Ryuma or Longma. We're just gonna fight this one, guys. The Captain Elephant. If you want, you can server hop here. But guys, again, this is near the mansion and there are lots of players uh, in the mansion. Especially when you're doing server hop. There's a high, really, really high chance that you will die unless you ally them or ask, tell them that you're grinding. Because I don't really uh, tell anyone if I'm grinding the private server, like uh, I'm gamer now, something like that. <laughs> there you go. Anyways, as you can see, guys, damage HP, just use your Z skill, right? And then, after that, fight the enemy. There you go, use your uh, X and C skill. And if you get damage, use your Z skill, okay? See that, guys? Very easy. Imagine, you're tanking Captain Elephant's damage, okay? So, Gamer Nom, who is the boss that you're talking about? Guys, we are going to fight the beautiful Pirate 2. And are we able to do that, Gamer Nom? Yes, we are able to do that. Imagine, guys, 1v1, defeating Beautiful Pirate easily. Actually, this is not that easy. 
because Beautiful Pirate has two HPs, right? Also, upon transformation, I think Beautiful Pirate attacks uh, faster. So there's a high chance that you will uh, lose all your Observation Hockey. Again, we are not yet at Observation Hockey V2 here, right? <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of low. But don't worry, guys. We have our life still. And I'm gonna fast forward this one. See that, guys? Also, make sure to dodge to the side every time he's about to attack. To increase your chances of dodging her attacks. Sorry, guys. Her attacks. Oh, wait. This is a guy, right? This is... What's the name of this dude in One Piece? I forgot, guys. Please help me. Hmm. Is it Cavendish? Something like that. Okay, this is the second HP, right? Okay, now it's a lot faster. Let's focus on our HP. Also, our item is Lay. There you go. Keeps getting back. Full HP, full HP. And sadly, the beautiful pirate has no HP regeneration. There you go. Almost done here, guys. So, Gamer Nom, did you decide to server hop beautiful pirate? No, guys, because uh, every other high level player always. Most of the time, defeat this one. Uh, they also do server up because, again, of the reward. 50,000 bells, and if you have 2 times uh, money, you will get 100,000 bells for every beautiful pirate. That's a lot, right? There you go. See that? 1v1. This fight cell is really worth it and really strong. So, guys, at 1,975, next up, Haunted Castle. We are back here. So guys, we have the reborn skeletons, right? Usually, we will grind only here. Because this is the only uh, area where you can grind with Logia fruits. Because they don't have Haki, right? But since we are not just relying on the Logia effect, we can now defeat other mobs. Okay, so I'm gonna show you other mobs here. Uh, guys, you can defeat the what is this? living... There you go, living zombie. Okay, did here, guys. Uh, why... I think they're easier to fight because they will blink towards you and we have life steal which is really good aside from that you can head inside guys remember the, demo the demonic souls they give out more candies and if you want to grind some more demonic wisps yes you can grind here and also one more thing one that I like here on the haunted castle we have the death, death king here so we can use our uh, what do you call this bones guys check this out we will be getting a legendary item, the Hollow Essence. Yes, we are going to fight the boss using this one. And aside from that, we are also going to get, guys, check this out, Fire Essence. Imagine, guys, that's so lucky, right? In just 10 spins with the Death King, we got two legendary items. So we're gonna smash this Soul Reaper here. There you go. Is he hard to defeat? Is it hard to defeat? No, guys. Check this out, guys. Level 2100, 1v1. Again, also, we got 2 times experience, and I wasted most of the time just fighting this one. I thought this one will give us a base level, but no. <laughs> just mastery. Anyways, there you go. We were able to defeat this one. And, 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 guys. In the end, yeah, I'm gonna spoil it. We will be getting the hollow side. Guys, this, this account is really lucky. If we're gonna use everything we get, or, or, or a drop I really wanted to use the hollow site but again this is a sanguine art video right <laughs> so there you go we're almost done here reaching 30k HP there you go less than 18k 14 9k 4k and that's it see the guys we got the holy crown and hollow site okay moving on go so we're gonna reach level 2075 here and after that guys we are going to head to the sea of treats oh but before that let's not forget use off there you go okay we gave him the fire essence but again we lack the requirements to unlock the dragon talon okay next up sea of treats guys uh here okay i'm just gonna suggest two mobs to grind first one is the peanut scouts right after this we're gonna fight a boss Okay, but I don't suggest the boss because again, lots of players there. Guys, if you really want to grind fast, just stay here with the Peanut Scouts until level 2200. Yes, 2200. Guys, check this out. Really easy. They spawn really fast. So once 
you defeat another mob, it's a sure thing that the previous mob already spawned. So guys, there you go. See that? Okay, one more, uh, two more. See that? You won't be stopping or, or waiting for a mob to spawn. Also, the quest giver is really near. Okay? Anyways, after this, at level 1000, uh, 2175, uh, there is Big Mom here. Yes. Is she hard to defeat? No. Again, you're using Sanguine Art, guys. <laughs> Trust the new fight style before they nerf it. So we're gonna defeat this one. Okay? So guys, let me tell you this. Aside from this one, the Peanut Scouts, you can grind the Cookie Crafters, right? Why? This, that, that Cookie Crafter is really good because if you defeat one mob at a time, just like the Peanut Scouts, you won't be waiting for a mob to spawn. And again, the problem on the Sea of Treats is that the mobs really uh, take time to spawn, which makes grinding really hard, okay? So after that, guys, okay, right, wait, let's just defeat this one. I'm gonna show it to you. Sadly, we did not get the, what do you call this? The sword? Uh, body sword, right? <laughs> Forgot the name. Body sword, I think. The one that Big Mom is using. Almost done. Okay. Okay, there you go. So guys, again, grind at the Peanut Scouts until level 2200, right? After that, we will head to the next island. Cookie Crafters. Okay, there are other mobs here. I think th three other mobs, but yeah. Don't grind there, guys. Hard. See this, guys? Easy. That's one. Boom. That's two. That's three. That's four. Guys, the damage here is high, okay? Make sure to gauge the distance. You don't need to, like, get near. To get hit by their sword. Anyways, I'm just showing you that we're defeating all seven cookie crafters here. The previous mob that you defeated already spawned. So guys, there you go. You don't need to like uh, wait for it to spawn again because again, the spawn time of uh, a single cookie crafter I think is 20 seconds. So it's really long. So guys, there you go. 2,300. After that, guys, you can now head to the chocolate island. So here, guys, why are we grinding here? Because guys, okay, first one's Coco Warriors. If you want to unlock or get the Pale Scarf, you need to defeat Doking. So guys, you need uh, the God's Chalice and some, uh, what's the name of that? Uh, Conjured Coco. There you go. Conjured Cocos to make a Kenji Chalice. So guys, it's good to grind here. Because again, if you want to unlock everything, you need the Conjured Coco. Also guys, you can grind here with the chocolate bar battlers but i suggest the previous one the coco warriors okay so guys i'm gonna tell you this once you have enough cookie i sorry not cookie crafters conjured cocos guys i suggest just grind on the tiki outpost with other players Ex do some expeditions or uh, grind sea beasts rumbling it's easier terror sharks yes i'm, I'm telling you you don't need to grind anymore here 2400 yeah you can go at the north pole and defeat some mobs but again guys i'm telling you you don't need to grind mobs anymore if you want to enjoy this game more just do expeditions try to defeat again terror sharks and rumbling also start grinding materials in order to enchant okay so guys i just decided to reach level 2500 here and before we even reach that level, I'm gonna do a shout out. Okay, so here it is. Shout out to this uh, group of really good uh, sailors and pirates, actually Marines. Shout out to Pookie, Bear, Bob. Shout out to Mini, Plushy. Shout out to Yuzuke. Shout out to Tom. Shout out to No Hiding Secrets. Shout out to Undiscovered. Shout out to RP Juggling. Shout out to TRH, Carlo Tejeda. And then shout out to Epic Nate. Okay guys, so I think that's it. We're gonna reach level 2550 here. Again, I hope that you enjoyed this one. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.